Hi, welcome back to Tech It. I have restarted the server since last time. So I'm gonna see if that has fixed the problem. I looked it up on the Tech It wiki and it says that sometimes the the philosopher's stone is like bugged out when you try to transmute him out. Apparently restarting it does not help. This is totally supposed to work. So that is a load of crap. I should be able to get the to get some villagers by transmuting animals. How about more charge? Oh! There's What I can't be too close? Like pretty much out of redstone. Oh, ha. There, it's a villager. Don't go that way. So it might be tricky about like how close you need to be. So I burned through my one piece of glowstone and a bunch of redstone. So it looks like it's kind of expensive fuel-wise. My Klein Star is doing okay. Yeah, come on. I like that they, these uh, villagers look like sand people from Star Wars. It's all part of the texture pack, folks. Look, look, it's a house. I know you won't go in it since it's daytime, but... Just check it out all the same. Uh, and also, since it's it's older version of Minecraft, so you cannot trade with these villagers. Yeah, you're on your porch. Yay! You live here now. Here. Let me help you. This is your house. Yay! I don't know if he knows he's inside. Let's see what happens. Is still there? He's on the run. How does he keep going back over there? Right, so don't know what that's gonna mean. Electric wrench is all charged back up. Go get some more machines from the hut. And put my gold up the the redstone back in my the little of it that's left. Good thing I didn't bring too much. So put away some wood and some saplings. Isn't there yeah, there's the south side. Put these back together. Then it goes in here. Some wheat. Zombie meat. And... Let's take out the MFE. So it's actually not facing this way, so my first right click turns it green, and then another one takes it out. And see, that time, I didn't lose much. Possibly because I don't actually need to use the wrench for those, and possibly because it doesn't always take a full... it doesn't always take that much electricity. It depends on whether it would have broken or not, I think. But maybe it just always does. So now basically all that electricity is gone. Let's get 
this guy. Okay, MFE first. So I'm going to have the MFE face this direction. Uh, oh, I don't even have the box. Yeah. So it's going to face that way. Then I'm going to have the LV transformer face. Oh, it's got to face. It has to face toward this guy because the red side is the high voltage side. So now you can see this slowly going up. And, but I need to recharge. So this is going to be a quick over here because I'm going to run wire there. So I'll just do that, I guess. Oop, door open. Is it nighttime yet? Yes, it is. So my idea then is to run power down and back, down the wall, up the middle, and then put machines out to either side. So let's see if I can get some cable. Back over to the hut. Put away the Philosopher's Stone. And I'm pretty sure that that villager is like totally gone. Close the ceiling back up. Yeah, these definitely break faster with a pick, I believe you're expected to use. So I can't take out any of the machines without danger of breaking them since I don't have the wrench. Do I have any more wire? One more. How do I have six wire? Must have used more than I realized. Alright. Oh, I should have taken that red die I got last time and dyed one of my white sheep red. Because that sounds fun. So basically like this is my idea. I don't know how well that's actually going to work. So I also need to run the pipe out somewhere. But then I can take my... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this whole thing might be too tight a to fit. So I was, what I was going to do is put machines like this. So if I pull this out, I ought to charge that up. Once it counts to 128, yeah, there it goes. So the masturbator is slowly charging. But then I need to take pipes out of here, but there's wire. And I need to kick pipes into the top. So I'm going to need to do something different with the wire. Not sure what I'll do yet. But I'll figure that out. Also, it's going to be a little crowded. I think I can put the machines side by side without any trouble. I do want a space in between them. So... This is... I suppose I really want this temporary anyway, so I'm just going to let that charge up. Bust out the wires. And... I'll figure out something to do with these. This is just floating by itself, has a partial charge, I'll wait for that. And if he's got nothing in it, because it's all going in the wrench. 
So in the meantime, I'm going to go get some dye and some wheat. And I'm going to dye... Well, red dye is the only color dye I have. So I'm going to dye one of those sheep red. This one, yeah. I'm going to dye one sheep red, and then I'm going to breed some more sheep. Put these things away. So I mentioned before, I like to have one sheep of each color, so then I can just go shear the sheep and get that color of wool. And there's a red sheep. Oh, I don't have dirt to fill in that hole. Okay, who wants some of this? Red sheep does and white sheep does. And the heart effect isn't working. Look, we got another red sheep. So that means... Oh yeah, these flowers you can turn into indigo dye. I don't know if I can dye the baby sheep. Let's check. Yep. I got a blue sheep. Look at that! The sheep are American. Don't know if you can shear the baby sheep. I'm not going to try that. Seems a little cool. So, if I push F9, remember I put a chunk loader over here, and the entire the hut is basically in this corner of the chunk loader. So anything I do in this hut will happen when I'm not even here, which is nice. And it's actually a dimensional anchor, not a chunk loader. Uh, how did I end up picking up that leaf? It's interesting. Just about there. No, it's not. That's going to take quite a while yet. So let's have a look at the crops. We got flowers growing in the middle again. That's a good sign. Let's harvest some of the others. Ah! Oh. Apparently, I mysteriously walked on that. Didn't really want that to happen. I didn't think I was close enough to have walked on that one. Yeah, so jumping on farmland turns it back into dirt, if you didn't know that. Go get pumpkin seeds. Yeah, so. It's, you gotta be really careful with crops because you just barely step on them and BAM! Back to dirt. Really annoying. Hopefully in the latest version they fix that bug. But since this is tech it, you don't get to play with the latest versions of mods. Don't know why. That's the way they do it, but that's the way they do it. So there's my pumpkins. Don't know what kind of flower that is yet. Probably going to be rose again. But eventually it should be the black one. And again, I want it to build the black one before I knock it down. Because then I get to keep that. How are we doing? That's eh, alright. I think... If I pull out my Philosopher's Stone again, I might be able to turn a pumpkin... no. Alright, I thought I could turn it into melon. But it looks like I can't. Let's see if that villager is anywhere near, anywhere around yet. Oh, he's actually in there. Cool. Maybe he's gonna live there. Eventually, if I get enough doors, then I'll have villagers all around. Uh, and I get enough villagers that... I'll have enough doors that there will want to be more villagers. So, villagers will have baby villagers. 
I haven't actually tried it this way before with the villagers that I've created from transmuting other mobs. Like villagers from sheep, for example. But I think it's going to work. Nice farmhouse. I, I like the farmhouse, but I think I would like to finish that bridge. Do I have wood? Not with me. So maybe since I can't work on... Since it takes so long to charge up the uh, electric wrench with my single solar panel, I can work on the farmhouse. Um, skywalks, I guess. While I wait. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, it's all charged up now. Alright, I'm gonna get another machine. Bring that over. Sheep's eating the grass outside the hut. Oh, just about night time. I'm gonna take the furnace. All right. See, that didn't take much, which means I can take another one. I don't think I want to take the cannon machine just yet. So the extractor, and now I'm out of power. Wrench power. So here we go. Put the wrench in here. And I'm probably just going to end up doing the same type of setup I had before with the electric furnace here. I don't have any cables. Uh, the extractor is down here. Let's see what that villager is up to. Oh, it's a creeper. Well, he's in there. Oh, jeez. Missed him. He almost blew. Is he in here? Yeah, there he is. Cool, so hopefully that villager realizes that he's inside. What's up, dude? Thanks for letting me spend the night at your place. I go to the one occupied house. I don't have any saplings on me. Oh, that's one. Why am I seeing a torch over there? Because I put a torch over there. So I need to take out the macerator and move that. And I need to put in more wire. But we'll get there. I didn't pick up any wood. I was going to get some wood planks to make more uh, walkways like I had before. So wood planks, and I need my saw, which I have already. So much more roomy in here now. I hope I don't have to cut down that big tree. I like it. Oh, I forgot to check if there were any already cut wood planks. That's okay, I don't need them. Did I use covers? Oh, the saw kind of disappeared there. I think these are covers. Uh-oh! Better not be escaping sheep. 
I oh, like you escaping. See, I can jump into here pretty easy. And if you're up here, and there isn't a sheep in your way, yeah, I can make that jump too. Hopefully the sheep can. So I'll bring this out. Then I'm going to need to bring it down to the fence. So let's say I put steps here, get me up one, and then steps here, which means I need to build out to this level, which is one more. Maybe two more. But let's cut some panel strips to line the edges with. So these, right. Before I can place any of these, I need something to attach them to. Because they go actually above. Like this. So this is the same style as that walkway. Oh, I probably didn't have any extra plank or panels. Panel covers. There. Panel strip. Probably didn't have any extra covers because I think I put the last one over here. Ah! So that takes longer since I'm flying. Oops, still need these. But I can get rid of these. Like that. down. Let's make some stairs. Four stairs, which is a couple more than I actually need. wood down to support it. So there's that. Then put two of these back together and saw it in half to get me more covers. And chuck my saw. But it came back to me. Kind of a roundabout way of coming back to me, but it made it. the rest of the railing. Yeah, it'd be nice to put it by the stairs, but I don't feel like I really have that option. And now that I think about it, I don't think I really want... Do I want the stairs this steep? Yeah, that's fine. Why not? What I don't want is these looking like that. Instead, I'm going to make some of these guys. And do this. There. So that gets us right 
to the goat. Or the farmland, whatever you want to call it. Cattle. Cut that in half. And, oops. So there's a bunch of panel covers. Not panels, covers. What? Sounded like it placed it. And then it could also over here. I'm gonna need stairs. Perfect. So that leads over to the sheep pen. And I've got one cover left. So let's cut some of these guys down. A couple panels and then I need those for... Nope. Oh, chuck that again. These guys are for the stairs just like on the other side. And then these guys will line this again. Only have enough for two just now. So there's the start of that. I think those are okay without any supports. I guess the stairs looks a little weird. It might be good to have a support under that. Which, maybe I'll do. Uh, right. Wrench. It was doing fine. And now it's not again. There goes the macerator. And I'll make a few more wheels. That's four. Which means... Yeah, it means I want four of these kind of half. So I kind of got a bit wrong at first. But I got it now. It's around there. One thing I could also do is have a few more of those and stand them straight up, sort of like fence posts. But I don't think I want to. So yeah, now I got bridges to my pasture and to my farm. But one other thing I'll do slab. Cut these slabs in half. And in half again. Let's see how many this makes. And then if you place the a strip in here you can make it into a post. So a post, instead of going on a corner, goes in the middle. Let's put it there. So now these are kind of looking like the old style fence post. Is that better or do I want it... Oh, but if you put them next to each other, they don't connect. So that's a difference. 
I think I'm gonna try it. Oh, it won't let me do that. Okay, then I'll put it here. Like I just had it. So there's some support. Go sleep in the farmhouse tonight. Farmhouse is kind of nice. I like it. And then over here. Now I can still put these down, but it's not going to... Uh, go all the way down to the water. I mean, it won't be standing on land. I will have to instead put underneath it some logs like I did for those steps. It looks different because it's not the fence post style, but I can't put a fence on the top because it won't let me overlap the fence and this panel. Cover. It's called a cover. Blue sheep! You got out! Come here, blue sheep. Come on now. Here, make you a bridge. Alright, come here. Yeah, yeah, come on now. You can do it. Back in through the fence. Come on, everybody in. And black sheep and red sheep are going to breed a new sheep. Don't you? Get, no, no! Oh, you guys. So freaking annoying. So, clearly need some more fence here to keep them inside. Because the blue sheep got out. I have another baby sheep. So if I get some dye, I can make him a different color. And I'll also grab some fence. This is ridiculous. Not sure if you fly slow or eat them. I have some extra fence pieces. And I can combine my blue and red dye. Put away some other stuff. To make another sheep color. Purple. And back we go. Yeah, it did get fence. That's purple sheep. And fence posts. I know you guys, it's kind of small. You're gonna have to deal with it for now. See, now you can actually jump over the fence from this side. Because the fence is one and a half blocks tall, so I can actually walk onto that lower fence from here. I can't do it from this one because there's it doesn't connect to the dirt. There's no dirt to connect to, so it's safe. Alright, so get some logs. Should have grabbed that. And I can I just need two logs to put that uh, support the stilt for the other walkway. Nope, this one. And there we go. 
And I don't think my rent is going to be charged up yet, but I'll check it. If it is, I'll do that just before the end. There. Fully supported. And the wrench. Oh, it's real close. So let me put this away. And this. Check it again. That's got to be charged. Grab another machine or two. I may not... Well, yeah, I'm going to need to hook this up. Oh, the canning machine. I was going to put that in the farm. Not enough power left. But for now, I'm going to put it in here because I need a way to run power that far before I can actually move it. So there's the canning machine. And I'll put the wrench back in here, charge it up again, and it should be ready for next time. And I will see you all then.